healthy altitudes to you. My name is Alex Burgess. I'm a registered dietitian and today we're making another nutritious and delicious recipe. So we're making a spaghetti squash with a semi-homemade pasta sauce. It's a really great easy dinner to make and it has a lot of sneaky vegetables in there. So even if you're not a huge fan of vegetables or maybe your kids aren't super keen on trying new things, this is a great recipe to make where you can throw in a lot of extra vegetables and you won't even notice. It'll still taste amazing. So if you wanna learn how to make this recipe, then keep on watching. All right, so let's get going with our special key ingredient here and that is the spaghetti squash. I honestly only started cooking with these guys a few years ago, but I wish I had known about them a lot longer because this is a really cool ingredient. So it's called a spaghetti squash because once you cook it, then you can kind of pull it apart, kind of the fleshy inside, pull it apart with a fork and it really has a texture of something kind of like spaghetti. It definitely looks like spaghetti. It still tastes like squash, but it's a great substitute if you don't have spaghetti on hand or if you just are looking for something to switch it up from your same old, same old spaghetti night. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get this prepared. So what I wanna do is first I'm gonna cut it and then bake it. So I've got my oven behind me preheating at 400 degrees. And then I'm gonna try and find a flat surface. Um, sometimes it's a little tricky, but finding a flat surface where the squash doesn't roll around as much is gonna be a little bit safer. So it looks like I've got kind of a flat surface right here. And so then I'm just gonna cut it right down the middle. You want a sharp knife, um, that'll definitely help. And just gonna have to use your muscle a little bit um, and cut that in half. And so I will get this cut in half, just save you the hassle of watching me struggle a little bit. And then I'll come right back and show you what to do next. Whew, okay. I've got my squash cut in half. It's not perfect, but it'll do. So I've got these two halves here and you'll notice there's seeds in there and it smells just like a squash. Um, but we're gonna transform this into semi spaghetti. So you can leave the seeds in there. I like to scoop them out after it's cooked just cause it's a little easier. So all you have to do to cook it, um, drizzle a little bit of olive oil. I might do this over my sheet pan instead just to save a little bit of a mess. So. Here I've got um, just a baking pan, sheet pan lined with something um, for easier cleanup. And you can just drizzle the olive oil over. You don't need a ton. And then if you want to spread it out with your fingers or if you have like a brush, that could be good too. Um, just make sure it's kind of evenly coated, but nothing too major. You don't have to worry about it being perfect um, by any means. We're just having the olive oil there so it doesn't stick to the baking pan. So um, before I flip it over, we also want to do some salt and pepper. So I'm just going to do a light seasoning, sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper as well. And, and if you wanted to add any other spices right then and there, you can add maybe garlic powder or onion powder to spice it up a little bit, or you can always add the spices after. Um, after the squash cooks, but we'll also be adding lots of good flavor to our sauce. So I say for now, the salt and pepper is great. Got a little bit of oil in there and I'm going to throw this into the oven and let it bake. And then I'll be back to get everything else going. All right. So I'm going to get some ingredients prepped for this spaghetti sauce. Like I said, it's semi homemade. So I just bought a standard pasta sauce at the store um, because I wanted to save some time. You can make your own pasta sauce at home. If you're Italian, maybe you have a really good recipe that's been passed on for generations. Um, I personally was not gifted with that. So I just like buying the stuff that I like at the store, but I want to spice it up a little bit, add some of my own flavors and also add vegetables because vegetables are great. They have lots of great nutrients for us. They add flavor and they just are really an important part of a healthy diet. And so I'm going to add to my pasta sauce, some onions, bell pepper, and then some mushrooms as well. You can add whatever you want. The beauty of this is I'm just using stuff that I had left over in my fridge. So half an onion and three quarters of a bell pepper. They're just there from another recipe that I made. And so it's just a great way to use up anything else that you've got left in your fridge. Um, some carrots are another great vegetable to throw into a pasta sauce, really whatever your heart desires. So I wanna go ahead and get these ingredients prepped. And so let's start with the onion. I'm just gonna do a fine dice. Um, that's usually best for a pasta sauce, but you can 
really just, like I said, do whatever you want. So the way I like to cut an onion is when I've got my half here, I like to cut down some thin slices, but I'm not cutting all the way across. There's a little bit of the slice that I guess is still attached to the end of the onion. And so what's that? what that will do is it keeps all of these slices that I'm making attached together so they won't be falling all over the place. And then the whole onion half is still intact. Then I can flip it around, cut it crosswise, and as I cut, it will nice form these nice little diced pieces. So perfect for a sauce, and it's just a really great way to keep your onion all together. And then I've still got my curved fingers there, trying to keep the knife as touching the board as much as I can, just for knife safety. And then when you get to the end, you might have to flip it back over, do a couple last chops here, and then boom, I've got my diced onion ready for the sauce. And that is gonna just go in my little bowl here I've got for my prepped ingredients. Next up, I'll cut the bell pepper kind of the same. And if you have seen some of my other videos, you might have learned if you cut the bell pepper kind of upside down, that can help you avoid some of those seeds getting in there. So I'm just gonna cut around seeds. And oh, I can feel the onion, it's already hitting my eyes. So excuse me if I'm crying a little bit here. <laughs> but okay, so I've got the onions kind of the, or onion, red bell pepper slices here, and then I'm just gonna slice them even thinner, and then I'll cut across to dice them. Red bell pepper is a great ingredient. It's high in vitamin C. It also adds a bright color to whatever you're cooking. I love eating bell pepper fresh, um, but I also love it just as much when it's cooked in a nice, delicious pasta sauce. So I'm just gonna roughly chop these up. I don't mind big chunks of pepper in my, pasta sauce, but if you want to take a little more time, cut it pretty fine. I understand a lot of people don't really like chunky pasta sauces. Um, I do like chunky pasta sauces. So I'll just have some big old chunks of bell pepper in there. So that is done. I'm going to transfer it to my bowl. And then finally, the mushrooms. So I have already taken a wet paper towel, kind of rubbed off all that excess dirt that sometimes is left on the mushrooms. And then I'm going to just kind of slice these. I like to keep the stems on. I feel like it's just some extra nutrients there. I don't really think there's a problem with eating the stem, but if you don't really like the texture of that, you can always remove the stems. And then I'm just gonna keep slicing these up, transfer them to my bowl, and then I'll be ready to go to cook the sauce. So I will keep doing this and I'll be back. All right, so I am switching up camera angles here. I'm at my stove so I can show you how I'm gonna make this sauce. So first I'm gonna start with ground beef. I like to cook the meat in the pan first because it'll leak out some juices that will then be in the sauce once I cook that next. So I'm using ground beef today. I normally prefer turkey or chicken, but today we're going for the beef. Uh, my dad loves beef and so I wanna show how people can use a variety of meats in their cooking. Now with ground beef, you usually have a couple different options that you can buy at the store. So that is based on the amount of fat and protein in them. So you might've seen the 80-20 beef at your local grocery store. That means there's 80% protein and 20% fat. Now we wanna go for the leaner options of meat just because animal-based proteins like beef or chicken are usually higher in saturated fats and those are not as good for our heart health, but a little bit is fine. So I went for the 93-7 ratio here. So what that means is there's 93% protein or animal muscle in here and only 7% fat. So to get this going, I've got my pan heating on medium, medium high, drizzle a little bit of olive oil in there, maybe a tablespoon. Um, or maybe a little extra. Went a little heavy handed there, but that's okay. So olive oil in there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get the beef in there as well. Just break it up a little bit or tuck it in there all at once. So what I'm gonna do, try to talk over the sizzling. I'm gonna cook that, break it up, and then I'll be back once it's all cooked. All right, <laughs> so I don't know how much translated into the video. Um, I threw the meat in there and then it got very loud. It was sizzling. Maybe the pan was a little too hot, but we're all good now. Got the meat cooked. So 
I removed the beef from the pan and now I've just got some remaining oil in there and a couple little bits of meat in there that'll just give flavor to the sauce. So I'm gonna cook the sauce in the same pan and I've got my veggies that I prepared ahead of time. I've turned my pan down just a little bit, maybe medium low, um, but we'll see what it sounds like. Basically, when you throw the veggies in, you wanna hear some sizzling. Um, nothing crazy, but definitely just to know that they're cooking. So, that sounds good to me. I'm going to just stir these veggies around, get them all nice and coated in that lovely beef fat that's gonna add a lot of flavor to the sauce. And then I'm gonna cook these down. It'll probably take five, maybe 10 minutes, depending on how quickly or how impatient you are, I guess. Um, sometimes I just crank it up really fast and get them cooked, but honestly, if you want the best flavor, low and slow is the way to go. So just remember that, low and slow. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook these on medium low for about 10 minutes until everything is pretty soft. Then I'll throw the sauce in there and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so I have cooked my veggies for about 10 minutes now. They look nice and brown and they're also pretty soft in texture. So that's gonna go great with the sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my beef back in. Just dump it all in there, get those extra juices that might've come out. Make sure that all goes in there because that's what's gonna add all the good flavor. Mix that around and then I'm gonna just pour over my store-bought pasta sauce. That's the best part is that the hard work is pretty much done for you. We're just adding flavor and making it taste even better and also making it even better for us health-wise. It has lots of vegetables in there and so that's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up and I'm just heating it over kind of medium low heat and just so the sauce gets warm and then we'll be ready to throw that over the squash. So now I'm gonna show you how to get that squash prepared while this sauce can continues to heat up. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to get this squash ready to eat. So, um, like I said, I've baked it. It was in the oven for about half an hour um, at 400 degrees. Honestly, this one might've gone for four, uh, 40 minutes, but it really just depends on the size of squash you have. Just poke it with a fork. If it seems tender, then you'll know it's done. So I'm gonna scoop out the seeds and because it's cooked, they're quite easy to get out. Um, I'm just going to throw them right onto this cutting board. If you did want to scoop out the seeds ahead of time, I have done that before, um, before I cook them. And then you can actually save the seeds and roast them. Um, sometimes I do like that, especially as like a fall snack. But if you're short on time, just bake it all at once and then it'll be super easy to get those seeds out as you can see. Now the next step is the fun part, making the spaghetti out of the spaghetti squash. So I'm just going to take a fork and kind of pull it along the squash flesh and it's going to slowly pull out this kind of noodle like squash and I'm going to go ahead and get that into a bowl and you'll see as you get closer to the bottom and kind of closer to the skin you might start getting it to come out in even longer strands almost like real noodles and so I just think it's such a cool vegetable and I really didn't know it even existed until just a few years ago. So I love cooking with spaghetti squash. If you haven't tried it, I definitely encourage you to. It's really fun and also just a great way to get some vegetables into your meal. And this paired with the sauce is gonna be a veggie packed meal. So I'm gonna keep getting this squash ready to go and then I'll serve it up and show you what it looks like. All right, so let's assemble the delicious meal we've got going on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take about a quarter of this total squash that I got. Um, in this bowl, I've only got half, so it's gonna look like a lot, um, but the whole recipe really serves about four people. And since it is a vegetable, it's not gonna be super filling um, compared to if it was real pasta. Pasta is a little more filling, but that just means we get to eat more. So I love using spaghetti squash for that exact reason. So I'm gonna get a pretty hefty portion here and Maybe one more scoop. Okay, so we've got our spaghetti and then I'm going to come behind and grab our semi-homemade sauce, just pour it over the top. So it's just been heating up here behind me. Pour just a little bit over. And we've got some beautiful red peppers in there and the ground beef is gonna have lots of protein, keep us feeling full and then 
Oh, the onions and mushrooms add really great flavor. And we already have a great sauce to begin with because it's store-bought and you can pick whatever you like, whatever you're used to. Um, we're just making it even better. So this is what it, the finished product looks like. If you want to be fancy, you could sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese on there. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I think you could serve this with garlic bread and not that there should be any guilt around food, but you definitely don't have to feel any concerns um, with regards to whether you're eating a lot of carbs because we replaced that pasta with this delicious squash. So having some garlic bread on the side might be a great option to keep you feeling full. And if you're not full after you're eating, then why did you eat to begin with? So we wanna make sure that this meal is going to be satisfying as well as delicious. And I can guarantee that it is. So if you want to download a recipe card, learn how to make this on your own, um, in addition to watching this video, of course, then go ahead and head on over to healthyaltitudes.com. We've got a blog up there with lots of great articles, including ones with these recipes. And so this one will be up there and plenty more. And just keep on looking out for more videos and recipes on the blog. Thanks so much for watching.